and I'm doing it for my daughter. Key, have you ever watched Key and Peel? Yeah. It's kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, Key and Peel's it's the, pretty it, good. They the, they do that thing though. They ruin it by, like, right when they're um. Uh, right when they've got something funny in their hand, they gotta let you know that like, they bring in the white versus black thing. Yeah. And yeah. that's really annoying. And I know it's hard to resist that temptation. It's the same thing with Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle's like, um, and I don't even think I don't even think Dave Chappelle's that funny necessarily. I think he's like a he's like a master storyteller. His sta- if you look at his stand up, it's um. The, the quality uh, that's good is the storytelling. It's not actually the jokes. And if you go back to his earlier stand-up and look at when it was just jokes and not storytelling, yeah. it's not good. Yeah. It's not funny. Like, it's kind of, it's funny. It's funny like if you're drinking and you're in a nightclub and you're watching a stand-up do his thing, then it's funny. Like the joke about the baby, the baby on the street corner in the, in the project, stuff like that. But his storytelling is the best that's what elevates him but he always he always brings it back around there's a there's one clip of him he's like um it's i don't even I, I think that's um jordan peele's thing that he leans into reflexively because it, it it came across in like his movies too. Like he can't help but just do the like black versus white theme yeah. every time. He's got one thing. Uh, he's super talented. Dave uh, Chappelle has one stand-up section where he's he goes um, and that made me and that made me know I wanted him to know that that's how white people make me feel. It was extremely fucking cringe, and it instantly reminded me of the um, Cameroonian. Uh, Swedish refugee who infected women with AIDS intentionally. <laughs> this was on Twitter recently, but this was Holy Simon shit. Simon Mall is the guy, and he was a uh, he got taken into Sweden and he gave hundreds of women uh, HIV on purpose. Uh, not maybe not hundreds, maybe like seventy. I think it might have been it might have been. 70, like, confirmed. Yeah, on purpose, yeah. And uh, he wrote poetry, too. It's ultimate revenge. Um, not this guy, though. But this guy's also He's bad. He's probably also done something This crazy. is also a bad guy. That we, gotta, <laughs> we gotta erase. Death of a Nightmare. Fuck. Someone had it on Twitter. There was a really crazy one. A poem about infecting. You wrote a poem about it? Yes. Holy crap. Um, And he, he, did, he did stuff like, uh, you make me want to use condom because I came from Africa? Like trying to guilt women into not using a condom while knowing that he had AIDS. This is like fucking poetry from the devil. Polish. It was Poland, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, the women. <laughs> yeah. You black the women. <laughs> yeah. so, but it's real. Holy shit. Going back to this. It's, this is not the same thing as ri- uh, ripping on someone because of their race. Because that's funny. If they have, when black people, I love black comedy. Deaf Comedy Jam is my favorite. That's the best comedy is Deaf Comedy Jam. And when they, they rip on white people, that's a different thing. That's not this, like, victim culture, like, feeling sorry yeah. for yourself, fucking painting yourself. Like, I've been a slave for 400 years. That shit's different from what I'm talking about. Um, yikes. How do I not see that ever again? Um, Holy shit. 
Iso Carl says, I don't know about you guys, the stream is so creamy and maybe even a little Kino. It's creamy, it's dreamy, it's warm, it's got dimensionality, really resonates with me. Is it Juneteenth and Father's Day at the same time? Right now? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Coincides sometimes. That's funny. Good for them. JC, JC, JC. Thank you for joining. Okay. Void, Void, thank you for joining. Hey. New draw base, thank you. Matthew, thank you. Stipan Hulking, thank you. Thanks, Goblin. I mean, let somebody like Jordan or, or Patrick fuck up a play, and a brother be like, damn, damn, if that was me, if that was me. <laughs> JJ, thank you. Swag, thank you. I sent them the letter that Jesus sent me. I said, you keep playing, you're going to get struck down here. You know, for bad credit, it ain't all that bad. It do got its perks, though. At least you don't have to worry about identity theft. Because if you steal my name, they're going to lock you up. I bet you. <laughs> okay, so there's, there's black women who are funny. Uh, sorry, I, the mic was low. Say that again. There's black. I, I'm not imagining this. There are black women who are funny. Yeah. Who are these fucking retarded bitches? <laughs> you just had to make sure that black. I women had to were make funny. sure. Yeah. <laughs> who are these fuck ups? Her hair. Who are these fuck ups? If you get if you got a show, just if these were white guys and flip the tables here. If you got a show with HBO Max, it was your first comedy show. And you didn't... Oh, Gear, thank you for joining. And you... And you didn't bring, like, the most heaviest heat that you could possibly generate. Yeah. Like, wh imagine, what a, what a... How big of a fuck up are you? How big of how big of a fuck up are you to come for your your first uh <clears throat> So it's her third it's her third thing but this is a a black lady sketch show to come with this and just have it be so so nothing I want to talk to these these women. These are losers. Mike with the 20. Uh, what up? Have either of you ever gotten a manicure? I've been putting it off because it feels too metrosexual. 
Got a biohazard under my nails. Nuking is now legal. What do you need a uh, manicure for? Just take a shower. <laughs> when my when my fingernails are dirty, I just take a shower, and then they're not dirty. Second City Improv. Man, comedy's hard. <laughs>